Hello friends. Now we will perform the small signal analysis of common gate and MOS amplifier. Here we have an MOS which is basically the common gate amplifier which is used rather which is used as a common gate amplifier here gate terminal of the and MOS is grounded the input side is the source terminal and output side is the brain terminal of the MOSFET or and MOS these are the biasing signals on source side this is VSS it is VDD and input is connected through a resistance that is RSIG SIG it stands for resistance of the signaling source and output side we have a load resistance fine so this is the amplifier basically in uh, uh, maybe in many uh, texts you may not be given this resistance you may not be given this resistance and so on fine but I have taken both together to make you understand the analysis the procedure here will remain same as in case of common source configurations. What is the procedure? First of all, replace all the biasing signals, DC biasing signals by ground, number one. Number two, replace both the coupling capacitors, that is input coupling capacitor CCI and output coupling capacitor by the short circuit. And third, replace the MOSFET by its small signal model fine so these are the steps you have to follow to draw the small signal equivalent circuit of the common gate amplifier so replace capacitors by the short circuit for small signal analysis of the amplifier that is what you have to do replace biasing source on input side by ground replace biasing source on output side by ground fine we have three terminals one is gate which is common source and drain so we know if you remember suppose this is an MOS F, and if you remember the circuit small signal model of this so gate terminal is held open because there is no current current cannot flow from gate side because there is insulating layer between this gate layer this layer that is gate electron and bulk then we have a current source this is gate terminal this is source terminal this is drain uh, this is drain terminal this is source terminal fine and there is another uh, resistance between the drain and source that is r naught this is current source which is gm into vgs and vgs is the voltage between gate and source fine so here what I mean to say is the gate terminal will be left open circuited. So it will be left open circuited gate terminal. Fine. There is a voltage. Now there is a source between drain and source. There is a current source I will say between drain and source. What is that current? That is GM into VGS. And there is a resistance connected between what? There, there can be a resistance or there is a resistance connected between source and drain and there is a voltage between gate and source like that. Fine. This is what you have. The analysis of the amplifier can become little lengthy. So what we avoid or we will be using approximate circuit. So in this case, I will assume that R0 is very very large as compared to RD. So this will behave like open circuit. So we will be using this simple circuit just for analysis point of view. Fine. Otherwise, you can go for exact analysis, but that will become lengthy affair. And of course, this is not very important topic from different examination point of view. Fine. So here I will neglect this output resistance just for mathematical simplifications of the circuit. There is no other reason behind that. So we will be neglecting the output resistance. I have analyzed the complete circuit from that angle only where I will be basically neglecting the resistance between drain and source that is output resistance. So I will be neglecting this 
regressions in my analysis. Reason I repeat, this is for mathematical simplifications to all the complex expressions, lengthy expressions, fine. So this is the circuit you have. This is uh, AC equivalent circuit of the common gate amplifier, fine. Now, what do we need to do? We need to find the current from input side. This is Ri. We need to find uh, not current resistance from input side. That is Ri and resistance from output side. Say R0. And we have to find the voltage gain. So the procedure will be like this. Apply KCL at node A. Apply. Applying KCL at node S. What do we get? First of all, you should be knowing what is the voltage at node S. The voltage between S and the ground is VGS. So that means voltage at this node is simply VGS. Fine. So VGS upon RS plus VGS minus VS upon R signal and minus gm into vgs this is equal to zero so when you apply uh, uh, your uh, kcl here so via this voltage by rs is outgoing current this voltage minus this voltage by this is outgoing current but this is incoming current so that's why i'm taking negative sign here fine so this gives one by rs plus one by r signal then minus gm fine this is into what vgs and that is equal to vs upon r signal or this gives vgs equal to vs upon r signal multiplied by 1 by rs plus 1 by r signal plus gm not plus rather it is minus gm but there is one more thing to be noted here although i skipped that part let's see this is minus this is plus because voltage vgs in uh, is with well, positive polarity or positive potential at gate and negative potential at s fine so in that case if you apply this so this must be negative this must be negative i repeat Voltage Vs a Vgs is negative in this case. So minus Vgs upon Rs minus Vgs minus Vs upon R signal and this. So in that case, this will be minus, this will be plus, this will be plus, this will be minus outside. So now uh, we will uh, uh, find the input transients. So what we have obtained, we have obtained the relationship between Vgs that is voltage across this uh, that is Vgs and Vs. But if you see, this is input current, so the resistance seen from this side will be simply voltage at this point divided by current. So, the in, uh, uh, if you apply case, KCL at node C, again, if you apply KCL at node C, again, we can get one more relation in terms of I in. What is that? V uh, Gs, it is minus, why? Because voltage at node this is, this is minus, minus Vgs upon Rs, then minus I in, why? Because it is incoming current, and minus Gm into Vgs, that is also incoming current, this is equal to zero. So, you can, you will get what? That is Vgs upon I in, will be equal to vgs upon i in you can take i in on that side so this gives one upon gm plus one by rs with what there will be negative sign outside but what is the input resistance if you find the input resistance r input that is voltage at this node vs by i in but what is vs that is minus vgs so by I in, fine, VGS, VS is what, minus VGS to minus VGS will be the input resistance. I hope concept is clear. 
This voltage divided by this incoming current will be the resistance seen from this side. But Vs is what minus Vgs. So minus Vgs upon I in is input resistance. So that is equal to 1 upon Gm plus 1 by Rs. I repeat, please understand the procedure rather than mugging up these formulas. Fine. So this is input resistance. Now let us try to find the resistance seen from let us try to find out the voltage gain and then we will try to find the resistance seen from the output terminals. So what is the output voltage? Output voltage will be equal to what? That is, please see it carefully. This current is coming from uh, this side, so output voltage will be parallel combination of these two. This current is go will be going upward like this and then going this, so it will be plus, it will be minus, so output voltage will be negative first of all. So V out will be negative. That will be nothing but Gm into Vgs, that is the current which is coming from this side into parallel combination of Rd and Rl. Why so? Because the voltage is this current will be flowing through both the resistances. So we take parallel combination of these two multiplied by this current. So that will be going like this. So voltage drop across that parallel combination will be the output voltage but with negative sign. Why negative? Because when current goes upward lower end will be plus upper end will be minus. So output terminal will be negative voltage. Fine. And you know what is VGS? VGS is this. We have already seen that. We have already obtained the expression of VGS in terms of Vs. So this gives V0 equal to minus, this is minus, this is minus, it will become plus. So Gm Rd in parallel with Rl divided by this, that is R signal into 1 by Rs plus 1 by R signal plus gm fine this is what you have into vs and you can take vs here this is into vs this is v naught or i can obtain the voltage gain directly from here divided by vs remove it from this point so that it becomes the voltage gain of the amplifier and voltage gain is positive if voltage gain is positive that means the output voltage is in phase with the input supply. So there is no phase shift between output and input unlike common source amplifier. In common source amplifier, the output is negative. That means there is 180 degree phase shift between output and input signals. So here, if I draw, if input voltage is having this phase, uh, phaser or you can say waveform, the output signal will have the same phase there is no phase difference between output and input so this is vs so this will be v naught fine now let us talk about the output impedance how to find that output impedance for finding the output impedance of the amplifier what do we do we simply short the input you short the input fine that is what you have to do. When you short the input, what do we get? In that case, you have to find the impedance from this side. Fine. So what will happen? Let us see that. This current, this will be flowing through this, flowing through this. Fine. So, that means, if Vs is 0, this will also become 0. How? We know this current multiplied by overall combination will be the voltage drop across this. Fine. So what will be Vgs? So Gm into Vgs multiplied by current in this branch will be what? That is R signal by R signal plus Rs that will be equal to VGS. So VGS, VGS cancelled is cancelled. That means what? Your VGS must be zero in this case. I am repeating, please try to understand what I am trying to say. This is the current which is coming this way. This is the current which is coming this way. 
fine so when this current passes through this fine that can be obtained by simply applying voltage divider rule this resistance divided by sum of two multiplied by input current must be equal to voltage drop across this resistance so vgs is equal to what will be that rs not rs r signal by r signal plus rs multiplied by gm vgs fine with negative sign outside so this voltage is equal to this voltage so if you take vgs on this side so this will become minus or i will say this will become plus and it will be vgs can be taken outside 1 plus this into gm this must be equal to zero and this quantity cannot become zero so vgs must be zero so vgs is zero here that's what i was trying to say if vgs is zero so what will happen this current source will become zero and if this becomes zero in that case this current source will be open circuited i repeat what i tried it did what i try i try to find out voltage across this and that expression of voltage gave me vgs equal to zero when vgs is zero this current source will be open circuited and when this current is open circuited the output resistance seen from the output terminals is equal to rd so output resistance of this circuit is rd my dear friends please try to understand the procedure not these mathematical expressions and as far as exam is concerned this is not very important topic but procedure is important because this type of questions can appear in an exam fine so just uh, uh, in next video we will be uh, discussing common drain configuration that is known as source follower amplifier so just wait for my next video thank you very much for watching